Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been trying to catch up a lot of my content. I know it's been taking a little bit longer than usual, but I'm slowly getting there. I've got more to upload. It's just finding the time to do it. I aspire to be really productive on my days off, and unfortunately I end up spending most of them catching up on sleep. A little cranky otherwise. But I'm hoping that it gets better. Uh, my last video might have been a little bit more on the primitive side, I guess. Less kind of effects that type thing going on. But I just upgraded to DaVinci Resolve Studio software. That was the first video I did using DaVinci. And then I actually ended up having to upgrade my laptop as well to be able to handle that software because it just requires so much memory and processing power. So that was my first DaVinci video. So everything here on out will be with DaVinci Resolve Studio, which I'm loving and learning. It's taking some time and hopefully they'll get better. But thanks for sticking it out. I've got plenty more to show you. I've made trips to Virginia. I've gone over to the Biltmore. Lots more that I intend to do as I already extended my contract. So I'll be here in North Carolina at least through March. So thanks for all of your continued support. I really appreciate it and stay tuned. With a few days off, I packed a bag and set out for Virginia. My first stop along the Blue Ridge Parkway was the historic Mabry Mill. The mill was constructed in 1910 by Edwin Mabry and contained a sawmill, a grist mill, and a workshop. The mill fell into disrepair after Edwin Mabry passed away in 1936 and wife Lizzie moved from the area shortly thereafter. The National Park Service acquired the mill in 1938 and by 1942 it had been restored. A gift shop and cafe now sit within walking distance of the mill and it remains the single most photographed feature on the Blue Ridge Parkway. The next foggy morning, I set out for a few more destinations, including Lover's Leap. And another stop, the Jack's Creek Covered Bridge. and what remains of the Bob White covered bridge after being destroyed by floodwaters.
The last stop on my trip was the Fairy Stone State Park to hunt for legendary fairy stones. And that concludes my Virginia trip. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell to receive notifications. Until next time.